Hi, I'm Lillian with Safe Teen Schools. If you're not familiar with us, we're an organization that exposes child abuse in the troubled teen industry. In this video blog, we will be focusing on Diamond Ranch Academy. Safe Teen Schools has heard countless allegations of child abuse against this facility. Diamond Ranch Academy is located in Hurricane, Utah and is owned by Ricky and Rob Diaz. They have four campuses, two for girls and two for boys, ranging from ages 12 to 18. During the intake process, children are brought in, stripped of everything they know, and are strip searched if they're common criminals. Regardless of their background, these children are strip searched. Once a child is taken into the facility, they are placed on the lowest status at Diamond Ranch Academy, which is called homeless. They spend at least two weeks on this status, and during their time, they're a victim of forced labor and a lack of a nutritious diet. While facilities claim that the lower status is made to make the student uncomfortable so they will advance in their program. We feel at Safe Teen Schools that cutting off communication between a parent and a child is As reported from recent students, once a child gets in trouble, they are placed in what is called stress positions or forced physical labor and in some cases are even physically abused by staff members. In 2009, a boy by the name of Jim Sheary died at the hands of staff at Diamond Ranch Academy. Jim died as a result of unqualified staff not taking him to the hospital when he was extremely ill. As Jim laid there dying, the staff did nothing. In fact, they looked at his pleas as manipulation and refused to take him to the hospital. Jim would still be alive today if he received the proper medical treatment he so desperately needed to stay alive. While Jim is the only death that we're aware of, it is common for children at Diamond Ranch Academy to go without proper medical treatment. Medical requests are looked at as manipulation by staff members. And everything from the flu to broken bones will be ignored and labeled as a child trying to pull one over on the staff. Refusing to take a person, a child, or an adult for medical treatment is against the law in the United States. Every resident in this country is allowed medical treatment and for a troubled teen program to refuse medical treatment to children in their care is not only against the law, but is considered cruelty and in some cases torture. According to Diamond Ranch Academy, parents pay $6,200 a month for their children to be treated in this manner. Parents don't know what goes on behind the walls of the facility and the only way they have contact with their children is through a staff member. All letters to and from the child are monitored along with every phone call. And while parents send their child and their money to Diamond Ranch Academy, Diamond Ranch will be able to do whatever they want with the child. This is made very clear in the contract that the parents sign. It states, and I quote, 3.2, sponsor support and aftercare. While the participant is in the program, Sponsor agrees not to interfere with the staff or management of Diamond Ranch Academy in performance of their duties. Sponsor participation in the program will be by invitation from Diamond Ranch Academy only and is not to the sponsor's own invitation. By signing this contract, the parents are telling the schools that they can do whatever they want with their child. The parent must then go along with it. Another part of the contract we at Safe Teen Schools find extremely worrisome is their general release of liability. And I quote, Section 6.1, General Release Liability. The sponsor hereby releases Diamond Ranch Academy, its officers, directors, employees, or agents from any liability for injury, illness, death, loss, cost, or other damages. By parents signing this contract and if their child is injured or worse, the facility will not be held liable. For information on the death of Jim or the parent contract or for information about us at Safe Teen Schools, please visit our website at safeteenschools.org. Thank you.